Family flux. Kiss, kiss. Oh. Hi, I'm Dan Q, and this is my review of Godzilla Huntley's Family Vlog, Episode 5. The theme of this week's Family Vlog is callbacks. This episode is chock full of references to other episodes. Number one. In this episode, Godzilla helps a group of at-risk teenagers to make an animated film about the dangers of copious drinking and promiscuous behaviour. She gets drunk. She does for her friends and goes upstairs with young girl. Now I wonder, is Godzilla the right person to teach them this lesson? Let's not forget what happened in week two, in which she drank copious amounts of alcohol and proposed a foursome. It's like a four-way! What's happening? Oh, Number two. In the first episode, we discovered that Zara had an animosity for Burger King. Gonna be In this episode, we discover that she's a McDonald's employee. There she is! Oh, I have got one. I can't see through the window. I was Zara. My sweet baby. Coincidence or conspiracy? Number three. Do you remember way back in my first family vlog review when I asked if the Sunday lunch in the middle of the week was a regular occurrence, it turns out it is. This week, the family have their Sunday lunch on Thursday. What? Roast dinner on a Thursday? What? What? Turtle girl. Their Thursday Sunday lunch contains Yorkshire puddings, but no gravy, and this does cause Godzilla some distress. What am I supposed to do? There's no gravy. What's what are you playing at? Pudding, if there's no gravy. You fucking Number four. In this episode, Godzilla and her sister get their father's ashes out of the cupboard so that he can join them for Thursday Sunday lunch. Right, mm -hmm. it was just a dead person's fault. <laughs> yeah. There's a dead person spoon in there that we used to spoon about the supper. We're gonna get that. <laughs> Shall we get you there? I don't have him for the tea on Thursday because he hasn't been out of the cupboard for a I'm while. Eating. Well, I didn't put him in the cupboard. Who put him in the cupboard? <laughs> I'll just, I'll just try to feed Dad. We need to get him an ashes when we keep him, because that's just not. There's a discussion about the fact that the ashes were supposed to be scattered at the top of a mountain, but that Godzilla has never found the energy or motivation or care uh, to actually ascend a mountain to participate in said ashes scattering. There's a callback in that very conversation to week three, when she discovered that there were some hills you can drive up. Do that. I don't know okay. why I was ever in my life to made to here. walk up a hill because you can clearly <laughs> drive up there. <laughs> this is a mountain and we don't need to drive up it. <laughs> Number five. In this episode, Sarah decides to bestow the rank of toilet lady on a random woman she meets in the toilet. You're a toilet lady! Who is toilet woman? This is toilet woman! We love toilet <laughs> This was a status previously reserved for the original toilet lady uh, that she made out with in week two. It's a great episode. Godzilla's friend Gemma uh, dumps her boyfriend by text message. Yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, you're dumped. Well, kiss kiss. Really classy. She and her friends give three word reviews of Wolverine. Fucking CGI bear. Godzilla and Sarah's mother tries to have an adult conversation with the girls. It's still just like you were 12. But that's why you don't have sex when you're on your period. Food is made to be shaped like genitals. Sarah is thrown cleanly through a bush. A game of dominoes is played using a dog and two humans. A cat loses its legs. Godzilla and Zara speculate on Zara's birthday about how one goes about ordering meth. How would you even order meth? Like, what do you order it in? And, of course, there's drinking. I don't know who that guy is who Sarah's making out with, but he needs a shave. Altogether, I give this episode 7,850 whiskers and one swirly plug hole. <laughs>